What's up guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell, and today, this man is all about naked cakes. No, Joshua, no, we talked about this. No, 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 no. The, the cakes are naked, you're not naked. Just the cake? Just the cake. But Brandon's naked. Uh -oh. Brandon, he's just comfortable that way. <laughs> Brandon's always naked. So this cake's popping up all over Pinterest, and we're gonna tackle it today. I'm gonna start by taking my chocolate cake recipe and filling it with pink buttercream. Then I'm gonna show you my way to seal in the freshness. We're gonna stack the layers together, and we're gonna finish it with macaroons and fresh flowers. Let's get started. So first I'm gonna start by taking the domes off the top of my chocolate cakes. By the way, if you wanna get any of these recipes, you can click the eye above me or it's in the description box below. Cake pop dough for later. So now what I'm gonna do is I took a little bit of my Swiss meringue buttercream and I dyed it this pink color by just adding a little bit of pink gel color. Since it's a naked cake, you're gonna be able to see the layers of buttercream, so you want sort of a dramatic color in the middle. So I'm actually gonna fill this cake a little bit thicker than normal because you're gonna be able to see the buttercream. I want it to be sort of a thicker line, a little bit more dramatic, kind of like a sandwich. Cake sandwich. A cake sandwich, yeah. You're making Brandon drool. Brandon's always drooling. He's always naked and he's always drooling. Really painting a great picture of you, Brandon. <laughs> Everyone wants to meet you, they can't wait. I'll put my next layer on. I'm gonna sort of squish it down so the buttercream pops out. I'm just gonna give it a little pass, any of this buttercream it's poking out. So you may notice this cake is a little bit messy. It's because it's really moist and delicious. So I'm gonna chill this for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna show you how to seal in the freshness. Off to the cooler. So now that the cake is chilled, I'm going to level the top and then we're gonna ice the cake. Normal naked cakes are just left like this, but I think when this cake here is exposed, it's gonna get a little bit dry. So what I'm gonna do is give it like a really, really thin crumb coat to seal in all the freshness. Just cutting the head off. Poor thing, she's naked and then I scalp her. <laughs> this is fresh though, this cake is really good. I can eat this food. You want some? All right, we're gonna give it a, a very thin crumb coat. I'm gonna start with the top, just like icing a normal cake. I'm gonna finish chewing this though. Good? Did you eat some? Good? Mm. That's all I get is a mm. Mm, mm. Mm. I didn't get any of that time. I ate it all. I think it was pretty, mm. it's pretty good. That's what you do when you're naked, right? And alone? <laughs> eat cake? I don't do that. Sometimes I do that. These cakes make me feel kind of lazy though, I have to say. Because you like just do half of the work. It's like you just get here and you're like, I think she's done. Bye-bye. You know, normally it takes all day to make a cake. This yeah. one's like, eh. She's good. <laughs> Send her to the wedding. Well, you know, the trend actually started with the whole farm to table movement. Yeah. As people started to have farm to table menus, the cakes never matched. You couldn't have a really elaborate cake. You kinda had to have something that was a little bit farm to table -y. Rustic. Rustic. Rustic is the word. Yes. Rustic also is, is it means messy. It really does. We say, oh yeah, it's rustic or organic. Mm, just means you didn't do all the details you were supposed to do. They're all lies. <laughs> I guess technically she's not completely naked. She doesn't like underwear, right? So now we have the whole cake iced. I'm gonna take all of it off. I know that sounds weird. We're actually are putting a very thin layer of buttercream to seal in the freshness of the cake. So there are gonna be areas where the peach is a little bit thicker and I kind of like that look actually, so I'm gonna leave it. But we'll take as much of it off as we can. You can see how the pink here is popping through a little bit. And now we will level the top. This is the like equivalent of a cake haircut, by the way. Mm -hmm. I always get my hair cut naked. <laughs> they tell me, that you can keep your clothes on, but it's just, I don't know, the hair gets on your clothes. It's very itchy. That's it. How easy was that? So what I'm gonna do is let this chill as well. I have a top tier that I'm gonna make. We're gonna put it together, and I'm gonna show you how to decorate. Now it's time to stack the cakes together. A little piece of advice if you're making a naked cake, I would stack this cake at the party. There's not a whole lot to hold the cakes together, and I don't trust the roads in my town, so be safe and just stack it when you get there. I'm gonna grab my trusty cake stand here, my little tree stump, since we are going rustic, and we're gonna bring the bottom tier up and center this guy. This cake's a guy, I guess. Cool, and then we're going to use bubble tea straws to secure the top tier. So now it's time to stab them. We, oh, we have to, we have to. If I leave the party and someone bumps the table, this thing's gonna fall over. So we're gonna put in a center rod so make sure that it stays together the whole time. So I've sharpened it on one end, as you can see. You can do this with a pencil sharpener, or you can just do it with a serrated knife, like a caveman, just hack away at it. What I'm gonna do is measure so that I make sure it's not actually poking up. So maybe three quarters of the way up the tall tier is where I will cut it, right in there. 
So I'm just gonna take my PVC cutter here. And we'll just give her a chop. So I'm gonna save this. This is gonna help me guide it down. Start at the top. And to make sure this thing stays centered the whole time and you're not going this way or that way, I'm gonna spin it as I go. That'll keep it straight. So it pops through that board. Now when I can't push it anymore, I'll use this to go all the way down. Since we're piling flowers and macaroons on top of here, I'm not gonna worry about this, but if you're not putting anything on top, you'll wanna put a little bit of buttercream and smooth it over so no one sees that hole. Let's decorate. So I got some fresh flowers here. I have some macaroons. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of gold to to kind of fancy them up. And what I did was I took a little bit of gold dust and added some Everclear. Delicious. Uh, you don't have to add Everclear. You can actually add an extract or you could use lemon juice as well if you can't use alcohol. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of my buttercream here. We're gonna try out some things and see what looks best. I'm gonna paint the edge of the pink macaroons gold. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more gold to the yellow ones and splatter paint the rest. I want the top to be the dramatic focal point, so I'm gonna add the big flowers up there first. Then I want the macaroons to be spread out evenly, so I'm gonna apply those next. I'll finish by filling in with little flowers and spreading out the colors evenly. So he's done, he's naked, but he's definitely not afraid. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Man About Cake. Let me know what you think in the comments below, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe because I will be bringing you a new cake every week. And I'm hungry and I'm ready to cut up. Mm, so fresh it was made tomorrow.